something on your car. A lot of you guys have been asking where the RX-7 is. It's right here. They didn't go anywhere. It's not sold or broken or anything. I've just been uh, daily driving it for the past couple of weeks because, well, this thing, obviously not very daily drivable right now. <laughs> and the blue Miata, which is in there, is it's too cold up for that. It doesn't get any traction, so it's dangerous and whatnot. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. This is this is too much mud for a power washer. It's it's beyond the help of a power washer. I'm gonna have to like scrape most of it off and then power wash it. Who's calling me? Hello? Oh. You ever like get a new screen protector or something? Oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. There you go. Who needs a number when you shove mud? Mud number. I will also say that this car is coming back with a bang very soon. We got something really awesome coming for it. Um, but we're just waiting to finish up some of the other things. Which brings me to the adventure bus. Today we are turning this bus from boring old school transportation vehicle to the spool bus. That's right. Today we are straight piping the bus. Or really what we're doing is unbolting the exhaust from the downpipe and running an open downpipe on the bus. If you don't know, this is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's gonna be lots of spool. It's gonna be awesome. Now I'm pretty sure that um, Haggard Garage calls their mint van the spool bus, but um, well, see, it's not a bus, it's a van, so. So right there is where we're gonna unbolt the exhaust and we're gonna try to get the, the rest of it off. I wanna try to take the rest of the exhaust without cutting it because in case it is like really loud and annoying, I wanna be able to put it back on, but worst case scenario, we cut the exhaust off. Let's get to work, boys. Twin turbo REW 13B out of an FD right there. Rotary life. Rotary life. You know what's funny? What? I don't like all my vehicles. This is by far been the easiest exhaust bolt removal. Dude, I think you got an oil leak. What? Here? It's like real shiny. Where? Right here? Right yeah. there? Under, yeah. yeah. No, just, up, up no, for the... Yeah. Don't. Pan over here. Here, okay. here. Just <laughs> that. Oh, nope, haha. <laughs> this way has never failed me. Oh, they broke the stud. <laughs> Ran out of battery. I'm just gonna leave it there. A little bit of new pattern. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that panel gap. What? I got my whole pinky in your panel gap. Hey! <laughs> Word to your viewers. This is not the proper way to do this. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, rust! Got it! <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. I want to say two things real quickly. Number one, this is a very temporary solution. We are going to build a new exhaust. And two, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be really loud, really quiet. I don't know. <laughs> Audrey hates it. It's a little loud now, but we'll put it so it's not right coming out from right here. Sounds like it's screaming at me. 
I just like I like getting on and off the throttle because that's when you can hear the spool the most. Oh, it's so good. Well guys, I think we officially created the coolest sounding school bus ever. Holy cow, that's oh, it's so awesome. It, it's putting a smile on my face. Completely stock engine and the spool is still really loud. Audrey really doesn't like it because she just thinks it's too loud, which I totally understand it is too loud. And it's also coming out like right here. So once we build an exhaust and it's coming out over here, it should be better. Um, the fact that I sit back there. You do sit back there, that's a good point. We might put like a, a resonator in it or something. But I do want to make sure that we can still hear the spool because it's awesome. <laughs> so cool. The 6.0 really does sound so sweet. <laughs> This isn't my Miata, it's my, my friend's Miata, before anyone says anything. It was probably a short video, which I apologize for, but <laughs> it sounds so good. That's my first time hearing like uh, a loud diesel in real life. Sounds so awesome, so much spool, so much engine noise when you floor it, it, oh, <laughs> it sounds real good. It sounds so good. I do wanna make an exhaust, just so it's not exiting right underneath the cab because the cab does eventually smell like diesel, burning diesel, if I'm like sitting at a stoplight or something. But besides that, it's so sweet. I can't wait until we bulletproof the 6.0 and then do some actual like engine mods, like more boost, maybe even a new turbo. It's gonna sound so insane and it's gonna be a, a little bit faster too. Um, pretty soon, I do want to dyno the bus. It's gonna be hilarious seeing that thing on a dyno, but I do wanna see what it makes now, completely stock. Supposedly, it makes 220 horsepower, 440 torque at the crank. So at the wheels, I have no idea what that makes. And then we will bolt proof it, do any engine mods, probably maybe a new turbo, more boost, something like that. Um, and then we'll dyno it again. I think my goal is like 300 wheel horsepower, 500 wheel torque. I think that's pretty achievable and still reliable at that level. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy with the way it sounds. It sounds so sweet. Coolest sounding school bus ever. It is now officially the spool bus. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today. If you did enjoy, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Tell me why. Um, if you wanna support the channel, we have key tags in the description. More merch is coming soon. I know I've been slacking on that. Tell me what you guys want to see. I could do some more stuff on the Rally Miata, I could do some stuff on the RX-7, or we could continue the interior of the spool bus, uh, doing like the wood paneling, the electrical system, start building that and finishing that. 
I don't care. I have a feeling it's going to be more bus stuff because that seems to be doing really well right now. So uh, I can't complain. Plus, that's a little bit cheaper to do for me. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Zach, again for filming. I'll have a link in the description for his channel. Check him out. Um, and peace out, guys. Bye-bye.